I tell potential customers to leave. Hey y'all, it's me again, Robert Kennedy III, RK3. Welcome back to the channel. Listen, you're probably shocked by what I just said, telling customers to leave. Imagine walking into a store and as soon as you get there, you're you're moving through the clothes, you're messing with the merchandise on the shelf, and the owner or somebody in the store comes over without warning and tells you, get out. You probably wouldn't like that that much. As a matter of fact, I don't like it. It's never happened to me, but I can imagine that I probably would be really mad. But I actually do something fairly similar with some of my customers and clients sometimes. Now, wait, 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 before you get mad at me and say that, Robert, you're rude, just hear me out. So I've got this thing in my business that is called a mailing list. For those of you that have small businesses, it is a bulk email solution that allows you to get messages out to people. Instead of emailing 500, 1,000, 1,500 people one by one, you get to send an email to everybody at one time. Now, here's what happens. You pay for the mailing list subscription and over time, people's lives change. They may move on to different seasons, right? They may have something new or some new interest. And over time, the they don't open your emails as much. Or in some cases, they don't open them at all anymore. Or in other cases, their email addresses may change and they stop checking that particular email. Now, that type of a person or that scenario, they're taking up space inside of your email list. And what happens is that your open rates go down. You're also sending out emails or you're sending out messages into an open field or in a forest or wherever into spaces where people are not listening. So what I do from time to time is I check to make sure who is opening. Am I connecting with the people that need to be connected with? Am I connecting with the people that want to hear from me? Am I connecting with my tribe or the group of people that are looking immediately right now to get better at the thing that I can help them with, which is becoming a better storyteller, becoming better online video storyteller, by the way. So from time to time, I will send an email, especially if I look in my statistics, my data, or my analytics and see that certain people are not opening the emails. I'll send them an email or I'll send the entire group an email and say, hey, listen, I've noticed that you haven't engaged in a little while. If you don't need to engage or you no longer want to engage, it's cool. It's okay. I just want to give you the option right now to unsubscribe or just let me know that you want to stay a part of the list so that I can know to keep a spot open for you. That's it. Nothing harmful, nothing mean, nothing malicious. Just wanting to make sure that you and I, I directed it the wrong way, you and I, everybody, we're using our time and our space wisely because I don't want your space or your email inbox to be cluttered if you no longer have interest in that thing. So I hope that was helpful for you and hopefully it helps you make decisions about your business, about what you need to do next in your space and how you can clean things up a little bit without taking personal offense to it. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.